Hey there, today we're going to talk about how Touch ID is not working on our iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. Well, Touch ID is one of the best and the most important features for iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, but all of a sudden we're up there updating your iPhone 6s or 6s Plus with the latest software version of iOS 15 if you found out that your iPhone 6s or 6s Plus is having unable to activate your Touch ID, unavailable Touch ID, Touch ID is not working, or finger is not working, or if you say fail to activate your Touch ID, then don't worry, because in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can solve the problem. Now to solve your problem, first you need to remove your finger and try to add another finger to see if that works or not. So you can tap on your settings here and then you can scroll down and then you can tap on Touch ID and Passcode and now enter your passcode over here. After that, you need to scroll down and first go ahead and choose your previous finger and simply tap on Delete Finger. Now, choose add a finger from here, now just go ahead and just try to use your Touch ID or just to check whether this is going to pick you or not. Well, if you see that you're being able to add your finger over here, but especially when you lock your device and try to unlock it, it doesn't work, then you need to follow the second way to solve your problem. Now, in the second way, all you gotta do, you need to be careful with your touch sensor itself. The next thing would be just go ahead and just grab a cloth like that and clear out your finger as well as your touch ID from here to solve your problem. Well, after that, just go ahead and take a look whether your problem is solved or not. The next things we're going to tell you to take a look at is your software update. Now, if you go to your settings and then scroll down to general, from here, tap on software update. Now, every time the Apple solved their problem, they do it with their new software, okay? Now, if you found out the new software update, just go ahead and update it. If you just did that process, but still, you got the same problem here, then the next things that you guys can try, you can open up your settings from here, scroll it down, tap on general, and scroll down all the way down to your transfer and reset iPhone. From here, choose reset, and now you need to tap on reset all settings. Now, if there's a minor box or glitches causing this issue, doing this process will solve your problem. However, if you still have the same problem on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, that can pretty much tell you that you have problem with your hardware. Now, of course, to solve your hardware-related issues, you need to go to the Apple Care and hopefully they will fix your problem. Alright guys, so these are the ways that you guys can follow in order to solve your problem. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later.